Ikorodu is one of the five divisions making up the Lagos Ibile, the 12th largest city in Nigeria and third in the southwest. With more than 1 million people, Ikorodu is synonymous with rich cultural renaissance and preservation. The evolving conurbation is the second largest in terms of human population and landmass in Lagos, sharing borders with other divisions and Ogun State. By the end of 2022, a reliable statistical organization called Macro Trends puts Ikorodu's current population at 1,040,000 people. This strategically positions Ikorodu on the list of metropolitan cities in Nigeria and West Africa. In the heart of the cityscape is a magnificent general hospital which has been delivering healthcare services to the people since 1950. Though Ikorodu has many healthcare facilities across the city and its suburbs, General Hospital Ikorodu is the number one referral center in Ikorodu established to provide multi-specialist healthcare services to patients with all medical conditions. Started in 1950 at Agbala in Ikorodu as a cottage hospital, the General Hospital Ikorodu was later moved to the present site at TOS Benson Road on Monday, 21st November 1983. Currently, General Hospital Ikorodu serves an average of 59,000 patients monthly, including patients from neighboring communities and states. The hospital has one of the highest patient traffic among all the 28 secondary healthcare facilities in Lagos State, with a bed space capacity of 265 and a staff strength of over 700 dedicated professionals. Recently, the General Hospital Ikorodu began witnessing an upsurge of patients. Despite the pressure on its facilities and personnel, the hospital has witnessed tremendous transformations in the last 30 months under the present management. With the support of Governor Babajidi Ulushola Sonwulu, while the need for innovation became imminent, a great mind was brought in as the medical director, chief executive officer. Dr. Taiwo Hazan, a prince of the Ikpakudo Kingdom in Ikorudu, was appointed as the medical director, CEO of General Hospital Ikorudu at such a critical time. Within a frame of two years and six months, the General Hospital Ikorudu, under Dr. Hazan's leadership, was transformed into a high-value medical facility. The hospital is now witnessing an influx of many patients, including the elite and middle class, who hitherto patronizes private hospitals and has since become a choice medical facility for all and sundry in Ikorudu Division and beyond. One of the unique features of the hospital is the upgraded health information management with the deployment of an electronic medical record EMR system. The deployment of the electronic medical record system is a strategic move in achieving the digitalization to support the standardization of hospital processes and to encourage the adoption of best practices. Before the introduction of the electronic medical record, we were using files. Then there were issues with missing files. There were issues in delay in assessing the patient's medical record. But since Mr. Governor graciously gave the approval for the introduction of the electronic medical record, the issue of missing files has been a thing of the past. Work is less cumbersome. It's very efficient. It's very enjoyable. And the electronic medical record is working perfectly. Everything has been computerized. You have your cards. The doctor is not in. Before you know it, the doctor has attended to you. Some of the rare innovations that place General Hospital Ikorudu on the high pedestal include establishment of a high dependency unit, HDU, with three fully functional ventilators and monitors with capnography, upgrading a physiotherapy department with state of the art equipment. General Sukurudu has one of the best physiotherapy departments amongst the 28 general switches. Lagos State. With the express approval of Mr. Governor for the upgrading of the physiotherapy department of General Street Kurudu with state of art equipment. Installation of lift, a bed elevator for easy transfer of patients from theater, an accident, and emergency to the male and female wards. Babajide Sonwulu, the Mr. Governor of Lagos State, has made the provisions for them. He equipped them as a matter of fact. 
He has assisted them to pull the lift attachment to have lifts instead of carrying the patients uh, by hands uh, from top floor to the ground floor. No, that is no more there. So that is uh, a kudo to Mr. Governor for making that a reality. You need to imagine the experience of patients and staff in trying to move the patient on a stretcher or a wheelchair across the stairs from the accident and emergency, which is on the ground floor, and the theater on the ground floor to the first and second floor, where the wards are been a very difficult experience navigating patients across the stairs. With the express approval of Mr. Governor for installation of a bed lift in this hospital, made the work very easy, less cumbersome, and less stressful for the patient and the staff. Acquisition of board feeder line via a 33 kVA transformer, which provides at least 22 hours of electricity daily. Another thing that struck me, we spent in total five to six days on admission. And while we were here, I could see that <laughs> there was never any power outage. It was too good to be true. If maybe someone had told me, you know, I, I might have found it difficult to believe, but I really did experience There was no power outage while we were here. Since the commission of this hospital in 1983, we are used to erratic, epileptic, power supply of between 8 to 9 hours because we are hooked on the 11 kV. But in 2021, Mr. Governor, Dr. Babaji de Olushola Sonolu gave his express approval for upgrading from 11 to 33 kV that gives us constant electricity of uninterrupted power supply of between 20 to 22 hours supply that had made patients experience enjoyable Refurbishment of the Accident and Emergency Center, male, female, and postnatal wards with 32 multi-parameter monitors. Provision of centralized piped oxygen supply system in all the wards. Before now, the wards were in a very bad shape and we are renovated. When people come now, they don't want to go home, not because they are not well, but because of the ambience of the environment and the only nature of the wards, that in itself gives healing to the patient. This was done through the approval of Mr. Governor. One of the first things that I noticed and I was struck by was the speed at which you know, the clinicians responded to us. The team of um, pediatricians, um, on call at the emergency center, you know, they knew what the issue was and then they started to respond with, you know, with speed. There was so much care and attention for a seven-day-old baby. I was really, really touched by it. I was privileged to see the team of doctors or even the medical director the deputy, they would just walk around at odd times in the night performing, you know, rounds just to make sure that, you know, things were okay. I had never experienced that before. I was really touched. They had standard incubators. You know, I, I was just too, you know, too touched that, oh my goodness, this kind of, we have this in Ikorodu. Sometimes in the past, people would go to the general hospital, they would leave the place angrily. Maybe they were not attended to, maybe the service were not efficient enough, maybe because of this and that. But you'll be shocked that these days, the Purdue General Hospital is the only hospital invariably available to the poor people of the Kurudu Division. And by extension, some People from Ogun State, some people from nearby areas are coming. General Hospital Ikorodu, I think is one of the best, if not the best, is one of the best in Lagos State in terms of service, in terms of name it. By the time we have the teaching hospital here, you will be shocked that Ikorodu will become a big 
metropolitan city that we are praying for. Think about five years ago, the mob was giving us problems in this community. I was speaking with somebody and suddenly the person collapsed. I knew that it was the mission from the mob. The mission was so serious, the stench was so much. But now when I come in weekly, I go, I first go there and you hardly notice whether that is where you have a mortuary situation. No emission. In our city, there's always something new. A lot of things have been introduced. Inside of facilities, they have improved. You can see if you express what with what I'm seeing now, the bed spaces, everything, the environment are so conducive and very always very neat. The staff there, they are well mannered, well cultured. If you go to the accident and emergency section, if you know what it has been before, you appreciate what is it is now. Presently, it is a heart of emergency care. My daughter came and said, Mommy, everything has changed in General Hospital. I said, the recent management, they are really working tirelessly. Unlike before, you will kill for a minute a night. You will go home disappointed. But now they will attend to you. Upgrading of the General Outpatient Department, GOPD, to world-class standard. Commencement of ENT Clinic, Wellness Clinic, Orthopedic Clinic, Burns and Plastic Clinic, Endocrinology Clinic, and Anatomic Pathology Services. Commencement of Internship Training for Newly Graduated Medical Doctors, following accreditation by the Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria. The first batch of 26 house officers just concluded their one-year training in December 2022. Refurbishing of the patient's waiting areas and consulting rooms to improve the ambience, comfort, and ensuring a conducive environment for patients. The hospital won one international and four state awards in 2022 alone owing to the monumental transformation and improved healthcare services. In the background, making the General Hospital Ikorotu a top-notch medical hub is Mr. Babajide Ulushola Sonwolu, the Executive Governor of Lagos State. In his themes development agenda, the people-focused governor mapped out healthcare as a primary concern. In walking the talk, Governor Sonwolu has given close attention to the health sector in Lagos State since the inception of his administration, and General Hospital Ikorotu has received massive support from the governor. I can say confidently that General Hospital Ikorodu, to a very large extent, is a place that you want to work. Because if you look around, we have almost all the beds piped with oxygen. You can, it's not a matter of willing a patient from one place to the other. Cardiac monitor, apart from the mobile ones that we have, every other bed has cardiac monitor. The members of staff, even the nurses will tell you that at least to a very large extent, this country, this has reduced stress on them. Of course, all this will not have been achievable if the state government is not supporting the management. It is noteworthy to state that the open secret of the new face of General Hospital Ikorodu is the vision and deliberate support of Governor Babajide Sonwolu in continuation. Residents and patients from the neighboring communities and states now heave a sigh of relief. Thanks to the hospital's capacity, which has improved tremendously because of many procedures enshrined to achieve satisfactory care outcomes and patient happiness. General Hospital Ikorodu now delivers quality healthcare services, stimulates patient experience, and achieves patient satisfaction by improving the clinical competence of the hospital staff through ongoing capacity building and recruitment of world class healthcare professionals and a beautiful physical ambience with sophisticated amenities. With a pragmatic medical director and a people oriented governor, the General Hospital Ikorodu is growing strong stronger and caring for people's medical needs. On behalf of the entire staff of this great hospital, I want to say thank you to Mr. Governor, Dr. Abadji Dirichola Sonwolu, the Commissioner for Health, and the entire Health Service Commission for their support to this hospital in achieving its vision statement of taking healthcare services to its end.